peace and prosperity be unto all his is watching it's your girl shay miller right now back with another video and today guys i am at walmart waiting on a batch order guys the one thing i love about walmart services not only do they have bonuses and tips they have batch orders batch orders you can get multiple things done at one time not only does that benefit you that helps you make more an hour more a order so this is what i'm working on i'm working on doing this full time um and i feel like you don't have to work every day to make a lot of money with this i just think you need to have a strategy you need to look at your um your data in the app you need to see what days are busy what times is busy so that you're not out here waiting on orders when it's not busy right i enjoy doing this simply because i'm doing it you know i'm free to do it when i want i don't have anybody controlling me uh my first job is killing me uh i'm really to escape it and guys i want you guys to do whatever you love doing simply because doing what you don't love is not exceptional so guys i did a batch order earlier the one i was talking to you guys about in the truck and I eventually got to home and so I could sit down. The batch orders, I think they're more beneficial because they pay more to do batch orders. Um, I think you could do a batch order that will last you up until, you will start at nine o'clock and it'll last you up until about 11. And you'll make like $25, but it'd be like multiple orders in one. Now, I do see how most people will be like, no, batch orders, um, you're not getting the full benefit. Um, and I could definitely see where people would think that or probably believe that. And it may be true in some cases, depending on your location and where you live. Batch orders not, may not be good for everybody. It may not give, be good for everybody's location, but we live in a small town or a small city. Um, batch orders are good because you get multiple orders done, meaning you got multiple individuals within that one order that can tip you, meaning the not only you get paid for that order, you get paid for the multiple orders you've done that day. You get a lot done, that's what I'm saying. I do believe in doing one order at a time. They're good. It'd be some really good offers on some. Some of them be like really far out. I don't believe like where I'm at, it's like maybe like, um, it's probably like, nine different walmarts they just added sam's club into the spark delivery um area for us so they'll make it like nine stores it may be nine ten stores and all um but we have all those stores the neighborhood walmarts the the ones with the big, the bigger walmarts the sam's club and they're all in this you know area and location i deliver is at every one of them Yesterday, I had an issue with the order, and I showed up at the Walmart, and the order was already done. I was kind of upset about that, but let's hope that never happens again. They said, the, but I did get a tip, so maybe that was Walmart's way of compensating me, compensating me. Um, so I did get some money for that, even though I, I did a dry run. I didn't get to actually deliver anything. Um... But I did a six order batch today and made $25. And it lasted from about 10, 10 ish to like 11 something. Because I dropped off multiple orders, which I thought was pretty good. It keeps you busy. You're not sitting and waiting on an order to come in. You have, you're doing multiple ones. And the other thing is, like, it wasn't a lot of items with every order. It was probably three orders out of the six that had three items. Every other order had either two or one item. Every item on there was like minimum. That's probably why I was able to do six of them because there wasn't so many items on there. Uh, I just believe it's very organized. It's very um, easy to see the names on the bags and know who we're dropping the groceries for. Um, and I just, I'm just happy when I do it. I feel at peace when I'm doing something that I actually like. Earlier I was talking about because I'm trying to make some strategic plans on working Walmart 
delivery full time along with DoorDash and this other app called Waiter. And it's it's like a transitioning process like cuz I'm having to figure things out, but I'm really working on it. I'm working on the numbers as well as writing my mouths out while I'm still transitioning and processing what I need to do. Um but other than that, uh, that's what I'm working on, guys. I haven't been able to really sit down and make real valuable content for you guys. I haven't been able to sit down and just do paintings or do anything I actually enjoy doing because I'm still trying to figure out, like, the things that structures my life and makes me feel at peace because I'm a creative person. And if I'm stuck in an environment where I feel like... Uh, I logically either don't have no sort of um, stimulation here or I just it just destroys my creativity or you know messes up my energy or my personality um, but my personality won't change but I'm saying when it just it's just very conflicting to who I am then I need to remove myself and that's what I've been working on because I feel like at this point at I'm about to be 27 in November um, I don't think I should be doing anything that makes me unhappy. Now, I get it. I'm going to have to do some things that I don't like. But at times, I'm going to have to make a decision now at this point in my life um, to stop doing things that no longer serve me purpose, that don't make me happy and or isn't for me at all. Like, <sighs> But it's taking some time. So just to let you guys know, that's the transition. That's the process. That's what I'm working on. Once I figure out these numbers, once I figure out my system, once I figure out my schedule, once I figure out this foundation, the structure, I'll have it down. And I'll be full-time Walmart delivery DoorDash waiter. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing how much prosperity and financial um, gains I can get out of that. And that's really all I'm working on, guys. I, As far as books, I still have the three books out, and you know, those are the only books I have. I still am working on the fourth and the fifth book. I haven't had time to work on it. I haven't had time to do any book marketing. I haven't had any time to do anything that I find valuable. I haven't had time to sit down and just buy stocks. Like, that is what I like doing. I like to look, study, and see how well certain stocks are doing and, like, buy them. I have a lot of stocks already. My portfolio is pretty good. But I want to expand, and I haven't had time to trade either. You have to have time to trade so you can check the charts, make sure that you're getting in and out at the right times. When you work a job and you're working for an employer, you don't have time for anything that you find valuable. You're spending all your time, energy, efforts, and money into one specific aspect when you're, it's pretty much control. I'm trying to get to a place where I can control my life and control what's going on with me. So this is what I'm doing. And if you don't see me posting, though I said I was going to be consistent, it seems like even though I want to be consistent, it seems like I can't predict when I can do it. But I can predict on recording videos, having them pre-recorded. So that's probably something I'm going to have to start back doing and just make time for it. So I can post videos every single day, guys. And I love you. And I guys hope you guys have a tremendous day. And I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Because I know at the beginning of my videos, it seems to be like a sound error. But, peace.